YouTube. Hey YouTube, this is Chris Ramirez, also known as the Disney V the Disney VHS nerd on Tumblr. Or Disney Video Nerd, I apologize. And this is the Mini Classics collection. This was a line that released several short subjects and even segments of package features. Cheers. In the line. This line began on October 13th, 1987, and ended in the summer of 1991. These titles remained in print until 1993, when the Favorite Stories collection made its launch. All of these here are in order of their VHS release dates. So let's get started. So this is the first title. This was the first video release of this short subject. This is Donald and Math Magic Land, a short released in 1959, released in double build with Darby O'Gill and the Little People. Well, I believe this is the first time this was ever released on home video, and yeah, the case is in, isn't in great condition, and yeah, it has a 1 next to the stock number, so this is the first release of this title. Yeah, this case has seen better days, but the tape is in great condition. The tape plays great. And, of course, writing from the previous owner on here. This was released October 13th, 1987, and yeah, there's no print date on this tape. So that was Donald and Math Magic Land. The mini classics release of The Reluctant Dragon. This was previously released in, during the Neon Mickey era, or towards the end of the Neon Mickey era. Of course, this is actually just the animated segment from its live-action feature film. Um, and this was also one of the first three titles released in the mini classics line. The same day, October 13th, 1987. And like Donald and Math Magic Land, there's no print date. But the interesting thing about this tape is that it lo it sounds like the audio is distorted in a way, and it's pretty much almost as if whoever processed this tape had taped it over a previous release of this title. Well, because towards the end of the Walt Disney Home Video logo, very faintly, almost as if you had to put your ear up to the speaker you could hear the tail end of the video dealer announcement and this tape does not have the video dealer announcement so this was the reluctant dragon the f one of the first three titles in the mini classic this one is pretty interesting this was released in 1988 to commemorate the 60th anniversary of Mim of mickey mouse obviously because it says it here the commemorative edition this is Mickey's Magical World. It was released on video on October 4th, 1988. This was pretty much a compilation of Mickey Mouse cartoons, including Through the Mirror, The Worm Turns, Lonesome Ghost, The Band Concert, a colorized version of the short Gulliver's Travels, Bulls, Magician Mickey, and the the Sorcerer's Apprentice segment from Fantasia. Between each of the segments, there's redubbed clips from the Mickey Mouse Club, particularly in episodes including Donald Duck, This Is Your Life, or This Is Your Life, Donald Duck, clips from Pinocchio, short, The Short Orphan's Benefit, portions of the Jiminy Cricket educational serials, and the special from all of us to you. And what's also interesting is that a snippet of this is actually used at the beginning of the trailer for Oliver and Company. The front, and the back. Although this Fox claims this is the first release or or the first pressing, this is actually Sorry, a much later pressing. This was printed December 20th, 1996, so this may have been a bit more. This would be outdated by 
1998. And this was Mickey's Magical World. This is the only mini classics title that is not a short film or a segment from a package feature. This is just a commemorative collection of, or like a little clip show, rather, for Mickey Mouse's 60th birthday. So this was Mickey's Magical World. Now this is the only mini classics title that I don't have a cover for, and this was the first mini classics tape I acquired. This is Ben and Me, which was released on video on October 12, 1989. And unfortunately this one does not have a print date. I believe it doesn't. No, it does not. The tape play is pretty great, and yeah, this was a former rental from Hill Country Video. I think this was in the Valley, or I, I can't remember where it was exactly. But this version contains both the theatrical version and the extended... Actually, this contains the original theatrical version and the partly edited television version combined to make the entire recreation of the short. And that was Ben and Me. The only mini classics tape that does not have its cover. Hopefully I can get a I can get a different copy that does have its cover. Alright, this is the segment or this is the mini classics release of Bongo, which was actually a segment from the package feature Fun and Fancy Free released in nineteen forty seven. This is both this is a version that was edited for television vision to include full narration from Jiminy Cricket rather than being the original narrator Dinah Shore. Sure, this was released on October twelfth, nineteen eighty nine. Nine and look at how unusual the the reels are for this tape. Labels in much cleaner condition, and again, this one does not have a print date on it. The tape plays pretty well, though, and it does have the opening song from Fun and Fancy Free. Hang on. So that was Bongo. Go. The segment from Fun and Fancy Free. Alright, this is actually a personal favorite of mine. This is the mini classics release of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. This is the version that was edited to be just a separate short film, although most Disney aficionados know that this was the segment from 1949's The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad with narration and music by Bing Crosby. Let's be Look at the color they chose for this. And of course there were some minor alterations to the back cover and the front cover for the favorite stories collection when it, when it was with one of the first four titles for this collection. Chin. This was released on October 19th, 1989, and this one is a vertical sticker label, <laughs> and unfortunately, oh, sorry, unfortunately that was the price I had to pay for the tape, right there. And I don't get why thrift stores have to write on the tape boxes and such with markers and instead of just using easy peelable stickers that, that just kind of, yeah. but, oh well, I can't do much about it. The print date on this tape is September 12th, 1991, so this was a later pressing of this title. Ironically enough, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad was released on Laserdisc in 1992.
but it did not get a full home video release until 1999 in the Masterpiece Collection. I think it was the final title of the Masterpiece Collection. So there you have it. This is The Legend of Sleepy Hollow from The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. This was certainly one of the more holiday-related hated titles released in the Mini Classics line. The other was Mickey's Christmas Carol, and unfortunately I do not have that one yet. This is the small one, released in 1978, I assume. This was one of the last projects done by former Disney animator Don Bluth before he had left Disney. This one was released on home video December 9th, 1990. And there was, I think, a line or two that was edited because I believe someone thought it was on PC for it. For it. it um, I believe the ed it was edited when it came to DVD. I don't know if this one was released in the favorite stories line. I don't think it was. And like Sleepy Hollow, this one has a vertical sticker label. The print date on this one is October 21st, 1991. One, and... Yeah. <laughs> this was the small one. It's a personal favorite of mine to watch during the holiday season. Aside from Mickey's Christmas Carol and... Edward Scissorhands. Alright, this is the release, the 1991 mini classics release of Peter and the Wolf. This was one of the last three titles released in the mini classics line. Of course, Peter and the Wolf is from Make Mine Music. Music, but this is one of these, this, this is one of those that contains additional bonus shorts. The only other tapes that do that, the only other mini classics tape that does that is The Reluctant Dragon, in which has a second short, Morris the Midget Moose. And on the back here it has two bonus cartoons. This is the Symphony, the Silly Symphony Music Land, and the Mickey Mouse cartoon, Symphony Hour. Of course, me as a Disney fan and a fan of the underrated characters, this short is known for the last appearance of Horace Horsecollar. <laughs> I better get to the tape before I get carried away here. This is an ink label tape and I recently watched it. I, I liked it. The print date on this one was May 7th, sorry, May 7th, 1991. So this was assumingly an early pressing. And that was Peter and the Wolf. One of the, this is another one of the last, another title that was one of the last three in the mini classics line. This was also from Make Mine Music. This is Willie the Operatic Whale. This was also released June 4th, 1991. And it has a little bit of minor editing to include opening credits and at the end screen. And you can tell this was a fused copy. I don't think it was a... I believe this was a former rental. And this tape includes two bonus shorts, Lambert the Sheepish Lion and Ferdinand the Bull. This one's also an ink label. Yeah, former rental. The print date on this was April 25th, 1991. I don't know which store this came from, to be fair. And this was Willie the Operatic Whale. This is another favorite of mine, and is also the last title released in the mini classic series. 
The Prince and the Pauper, which was in the previous year in 1990, released in theaters with The Rescuers Down Under. There. And this was supposedly the last Disney animated project to be drawn on cell. This was when Disney began to adapt the, the cap system for for its theatrical, for the rescuer's down under. And normally when a mini classic tape would say, like, presenting the mini classics right here, this one actually just indicates the Walt Disney Studio. So this is the this is its initial home video. So what's interesting to note is that the ending is actually edited. In its original theatrical run, you can find it here on YouTube as well, that the original theatrical version contained like a little bonus cartoon with Horace Horse Collar and both Mickeys exclaiming that they're going that it the movie is going to be going on an intermission for 10 minutes to start the rescuers down under. Yeah. However, in the home video version, it was cut out completely and also the music in the end credits was also edited as well. Well, from the original theatrical version, the end, the music end credits would not be fully restored to it until the release in the Walt Disney Treasures line in Mickey Mouse and Living Color Volume 2. This one was also a former rental. I bought this along with Willie the Operatic Whale. And the print date on this one is April 15th, 1991. This is a vert this is just a ink label copy. These actually stayed in print until 1993 when the Favorite Stories collection started and The Prince and the Pauper along with The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Mickey and the Beanstalk and Peter and the Wolf all became the first four titles in the line. So these were the entire mini or these are all the mini classics tapes I happen to own so far. I do plan on getting the other titles I do plan on getting all the other titles in the near future, sure, and actually I do have some of the other titles coming in from a dear friend of mine and I have to thank her for helping me seek these out. This is Krista Ramirez, aka the VHS Nerd, signing out.